today's lesson, we are graphing absolute value inequalities on the coordinate plane. So we've graphed absolute value inequalities on the number line, but now we're doing it on the coordinate plane. And if you're curious, uh, there's a little YouTube video I posted up there that you can go to, and it kind of gives you a rundown of uh, graphing absolute values and just everything we know about absolute values so far up to what we've done. So if we remember, I'm going to our f of x, we would say f of x equals a times absolute value of b times x minus h plus k. And then our parent function is y equals the absolute value of x. So this looks just like what we had with vertex form, except we've added in uh, one other variable or one other value, and that's the b value. And I'll tell you about that in a second. So A tells you um, tells you whether it um, tells you the slope of your graph, how it reflects, and whether it is a vertical stretch. Or compression. So a lot going on with a slope. It gives you the slope. It tells you how it reflects and whether it's a vertical stretch or compression. The b value. So the b value is connected to the x. And for regular algebra 2, we don't use it too much, but I wanted students to see it. And this is the horizontal stretch or compression. It's hard to write compression too many letters that have curves in them. So, and H tells you whether the graph shifts left or right. And if you remember last time we talked about the h value, the x always lies. So a b value and h value are always opposite what you think. So for the h, that just means when you move left, it's plus, right, it's negative. For the b value, what it means is for a compression rather than being between 0 and 1, this is when your absolute value of b is greater than 1. And for the stretch, it's when b is between 0, less than absolute value of b is less than 1. So it's just the opposite of what happens with a vertical stretch or compression. And so on absolute values, the only time it'll make a difference between a, what happens with a and b is if your b value is negative or positive, the same thing is going to happen to it because it's inside the absolute value. Whereas the a value, if it's positive or negative, those are going to reflect. k tells you whether to shift the graph, so if we remember, up or down, and it stays the same. So k, we like k values. They're reliable, they do what you think they're going to do. All good. So. We talked about vertex form last time. Now we're going to be graphing a linear inequality in two variables. So inequality means that we're going to have these less than or greater than, or greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So we use a dashed line to signify less than or greater than, and a solid line to signify when it's equal to. And so if you just remember, there's, if there's a line underneath, you need to use the solid line. And then we shade above if the inequality symbol is greater than or greater than or equal to, and below if it's less than or less than or equal to. So just like what you think it would be. So if we have y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x plus 1 minus 2, we know this graph shifts 1 to the left and 2 down. So I'm going to go 1 left and 2 down right there. And we know our slope is going to be 1. So it's going up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. So 
we want to mark that and then in the same in the other direction up one over one and so now as we look because it's greater than or equal to these are going to be solid lines and sorry for my drawing it's not great and then the shading it's greater than or equal to so we want it to be we shade above so when you shade it doesn't have to be perfect but I want it to look something like that so you can see we moved um, sorry I shouldn't have done that we're gonna leave that like that we moved left one and down two for our vertex so we always want to make note of our vertex negative one negative two to tell us where to start from okay so on the second example we have y is less than negative two times the absolute value of x minus three plus one so we know our vertex we shifted to the right three and up one so our vertex is at three one right over here and we know our slope is negative two so we're going to go down two to the right one down two to the right one and then we're going to do the same thing in the other direction because the axis is symmetry it looks the same on either side so we're dot we have our dots there now that less than sign means it's going to be a dashed line so instead of drawing a solid line I'm going to draw dashes in between the points and do my best with it. So there's my graph and now it's less than so I need to fill in below it. And I like to do the little Christmas tree. And so on your paper if you're using pencil just kind of like shade it in lightly. If you're using pen just kind of show that that's where it's being filled in. And that's quickly how we do graphing absolute value inequalities on the coordinate plane. Thank you.